Welcome to my podcast, Today's Dream, Tomorrow's Reality. My name is Vicki Poole. I'm a life coach, help coach, and hypnotist at The Enlightened Peach. And this podcast is all about embracing our mosaic life. And some of you may ask, what is a mosaic life? Well, it's recognizing that all the pieces of our life, the good, the bad, the indifferent, have all come together to make us who we are. So change any one thing and we are different. With that in mind, I invite you to embrace your perceived imperfections and celebrate who you are. This podcast is unedited and raw, just like life. I am your host, and today I have a guest that I am so happy to have on here because she's been on here several times with me, um, and we're really wanting to uh, just kind of finish up a little bit that when we met last time, and I just... Um, published her podcast out. Um, this is Brianna Moore, or Brianne Moore. And um, when I, I published it out and I reached out to her and I said, I think there's a couple, there's something that I want to discuss with you. And let's just make another little mini podcast and we'll share that out and promote what she's done. And um, I just really, really want this message to get out there in such a big way. So I want to remind everybody that is listening and watching that the only way that can happen is if you do your part and share this with people, download, like it, you know, whatever you can do to get the numbers up, because the more the numbers come up, the more people can get it in their feed because right now it's, you know, people have to really be looking for it because it's not that big yet, but we want it to grow. So people like Brianne can share things that um, is important to them and actually have it make the impact they want. So I want to say thank you for being here and agreeing to do this little mini thing. And yeah, thank you for having me. My pleasure. And so the question that I have for you, and I just want to start off with this. So what is the knowledge that you want people to get from sharing your story? How do you want it to help people so that they can just understand right away how it's going to work in their lives? Um, I think a lot of it is is actually my healing Mm -hmm. is why I, why I share it, you know, because it, it definitely helps me. Um, and I know that whoever's supposed to see it is going to see it. And um, I, it will resonate with, with anyone that does see it most of the time. But I think the number one thing I want people to know is that no matter what happens in your life, you, you have some control in it, and a bigger part than you could possibly imagine. And the second you take back that control and decide, okay, this is my life and, and I have power in it, no matter how bad it's been, um, it changes. And I also want people to think just because of my experience and what I have and the way that I look at having DID, um, I want people to just kind of go out of the box of, of normal thinking on it because it is a different way to think about having a, a mental illness and I, for me, it helps me be able to deal with it this way. And maybe there are other people that could deal with their issues and their, their mental issues in the same way and go, okay, this is an easier way for me to deal with it. I can deal with it when it's something separate from me instead of, instead of me, you know? So for me, it's kind of just throwing it out there and saying, if you, if, if this feels like this is you, then, then there's other people like you that mm -hmm. have this. You're not me, alone. And, you're not alone. And this is the way I see it for myself. And if anyone else sees it that way, I'd love to talk to them because it would make me feel better. So me telling my story is about hoping that it will make someone else go, okay, well, this is how I felt also. And that's okay. It's okay to feel this way. Yeah, perfect. Well, I want to share too for the listeners, because we just discovered this, or I just discovered this the day and shared it with you. Um, I had um, I taken the last podcast recording that we did that I've uploaded today and I downloaded it or uploaded it, I don't know this week, um, into an AI platform that is supposed to do the transcription. And um, and when it does, it puts out, you know, speaker one, speaker two, speaker three, speaker four, what, whatever. Well, there's only two of us speaking. 
And when it did its download, it had a third speaker in there. And so as I was looking at it and I thought, oh my God, that third speaker, I think it might be when she switches to one of her personalities because it detects this different tone or this different speech pattern that to the naked ear, we don't hear. And so I immediately reached out and I was texting her, you know, <laughs> oh my God, oh my God. And um, because, you know, it's just one of those things. It's just, I don't know. I, I know it's it's not making light of what you're going through, but it was kind of exciting, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so I went in and looked at it and we, we put it in as a walk-in was what we named it. And, um, but it was very, very interesting because it was just like little words here and there. And then every now and then it would be a full sentence. And it's like, the walk-in would speak and then all of a sudden you would take over the conversation. Um, and so to me, that was very eye-opening because you had said on the first um, episode that we did that you really didn't even remember a lot of it afterwards. And and I kept thinking, well, you know, she was right there the whole time. How is that, How does that work? So now I'm wanting to go and get the other episode and download it and see how many times one of you or your um walk-ins jumped in um for you in that one yeah oh I would I would think they would probably be a lot more because mm -hmm. I don't remember any of them, most yeah. of it you yeah. know there's very small parts of it that I remember and this one I remembered the majority of it but I do feel like a lot of times in my life there's been the moment where it's not me talking at the beginning and then I all of a sudden get power back and am able to to take over the conversation so it made sense when you when a lot of the ones were like the first part of me talking you know and then I stepped in which it totally makes sense to me when when we were talking about I was like well that's how I've always kind of felt like like I almost like they're there at the beginning and then I get to to come in and take over if I feel comfortable or if they feel comfortable you know so that was very interesting I was like oh that just answered a lot of questions for me yeah you know because a lot of this is me trying to figure out myself you know so like when you when you text me that it's like <laughs> oh my gosh wow okay because you know you could a lot of times go just because you have a diagnosis you could be like is that really real do I really have you know like all the time you, myself and my you know my family my friends whoever they're like you know we didn't know you were like that so it's like well yeah so it could it and then then something like this happens where it's like okay well that just answers another part of my me I texted my family I was like Look at what she wrote me I'm like are they <laughs> my AI is detecting my multiple personalities what's going on here this is really weird yeah yeah and then I'm like well welcome to my world nothing is is at all normal in my life so that's not really that's yeah <laughs> I mean it was it was interesting too because it, you we could we went back and we looked at it and there were like specific times like when you you talked about fear at one point and then that's when as you started talking about it suddenly you're the the walk-in um kind of finished out the thought mm -hmm. and then there were a few times that it's like um I, I think one of the times when you were talking about um um sex and I, I, I don't even remember, but it was like when those things were talked about, it's like I would say something and then your walk-in would, would answer me. And then you would start answering from that point on. So yeah. it, it was it, it was very, um, very eye opening. And though I guess the reason that you remember so much of that one, it was because in the context of the over an hour that we spoke, there were only probably about 15 spots that it spoke. And it, sometimes it was just a word like, yeah, yeah, you know, or like when I said how many um I, I know one of the things was when I asked how many um, personalities, walk-ins, whatever, um, did you have? And it answered, your, the walk-in answered. I think it was seven um, that it answered. And then you filled in the gaps of what, what it was after that. But mm -hmm. um, it's like sometimes it would answer the question, just little yeah. words. Yeah. Yeah. It's kind of, and that's what it, that, if you explain it to someone, I guess that's a great way of explaining like how it is a lot of times for me. Um, there's times where obviously, like I don't remember like the last podcast where there's big patches where I don't remember, but a lot of times it's like that where they start something, feel it out, 
and then let me go. Or if I just all of a sudden, sudden get into a trigger or a panic, then they take over, you know? So that, so it's interesting that we could record. I mean, I'm all about, I want to get the app so I could just talk to myself and now see who's talking <laughs> and, and, you know, go from there because like there's times where I, I don't see it where other people maybe could see it, you know, my husband or someone like really close, but the majority of the time, most people don't see it. And a lot of times I only know after the fact, you know, we're mm-hmm. all go, Oh, that's who that was. And, or like, as I'm speaking certain times, I, certain times I feel like I have a little bit of an accent that comes from one. And there's also like the whole really foul mouth, you know, that goes extreme. So like that, those two things, like I know, okay, well, I'm in, I'm, I'm not here right now when I start to speak like that, but other times I don't really see it. So like in the video, I'm sure it doesn't really show. No, I couldn't see it at all. But you know, what was interesting to me was when I was going back and I was actually reading the transcript and I was watching the video because I just wanted to make sure, is this real, you know, uh, you know, because I just wanted to make sure it wasn't the AI was just doing some kind of funky, you know, yeah, yeah. Um, because that's always possible. It's the first time I'd ever used it. Um, But when I went back and I watched, I could almost, it was like, if you read it, I didn't notice it when you spoke it, but when I read it, it was like the, the language pattern was not the same, but when you went back yeah, and you exactly. looked at the written words, yeah. it, it changed a little bit, but I sense. wouldn't have noticed it if it hadn't been for me having to purposely going and reading it line by line. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's so fascinating. I, yeah, I'm going to get it. And I, I might just start you know, TikToking, whatever, like my, uh, my, uh, just talking to myself and see how many person out, which ones come up. Yeah. That's really fascinating. I mean, I get that AI, like, it's kind of scary that they could, <laughs> that they would know the difference, you know, but I get, I do believe that that's possible. So. Yeah. Well, I think it's, it's that, you know, it's not, um, it's not labored by, the tone of your voice is not labored by knowing you and watching you and everything, because I think we can, in our perception, we can make everything congruent, even if it's not, you know? And um, so I think an AI, you know, it's impersonal. So it just goes with, if there's a difference in the inflection, if there's a a difference in speech pattern or something, you know, it just knows. Mm -hmm. Um, But so I I, I was really, really um, blown away with, with that little thing. And I was, I was so excited when it happened and I saw it, I ran and I told my daughter and she, and she looked at me and she said, well, it's an AI mom. It's going to detect the difference. So then (laughs) I wanted her to be excited, you know? So then I ran up and I called my sister and at first she didn't answer the phone. And then she called me back and then I'm telling her, she's, oh my gosh, that's exciting. So then I text you. And then that's when you sent me a message said, call me. I said, I got to get off here. I'm calling her. (laughs) And I texted some people in my family too. I was like, this is so crazy. Yeah. Like, this is so weird. Yeah. yeah. So overall, for me, I, I think I would love, you know, people that also have the same thing that you do, walk-ins, DID, what is it else you call it? Is that it's it? DID with, with multiples. Okay. DID with yeah. multiples. Yeah. But that- I just- that that maybe they could watch it and then they could you know see how um it shows up with you and then you know if any of them wanted to reach out that'd be great but the main thing is I want you to be able to get your message out for your own healing like you said and to let people know that they're not alone and maybe you know because one of the things we did talk about was that you know we talked about shadow work and all kinds of things and you said that anybody that has had trauma you know could possibly instead of it being their shadow that they're working on it could be that they have a walk-in as well and they're just not aware of it never been diagnosed or maybe it's not been um prevalent enough um to you know actually show in that way so I think you know, it depends my, on the severity of the trauma. Yeah. Like, yeah. Too. So like if, and I'm not saying one trauma is worth, but, but the severity will depend on the severity of the walk-in because if you're, if it's the law of attraction and you're attracting in a like being, or, you know, that's at the same frequency of you at the time of the trauma, 
then if the trauma is severe, you're attracting a entity that has a very low vibrational, you know, and the, and the more severe it is, the lower you're going to get. So like, there might be a time where you have something that's traumatic, even as much as like having, a um, a traumatic, like all miscarriages are traumatic, but like something that happens, it's a little bit more severe that could, you know what I mean? Anything could open you up to a walk-in if it's, if it's traumatic, because they know how to feed off of that and how to get attracted to that. And so the second something traumatic happens, if you are open to it and it takes very little to be open to it because of everything like our society and everything that we go through, we already carry a lot of fear inside of us. So when you go through a trauma, that's all triggered on top of it, that you you could call in any walk-in at any time, especially with that. Now you can call a walk-in like just, you know, with, without trauma, but most people would be doing some kind of something like, you know, like satanic worshiping or something like that. You know what I mean? They're, they're asking for it. Mm -hmm. If you're not asking for it, but you've had a trauma, there is a chance that you have a walk-in, you know, yeah. and, and not a lot of people talk about that, but that is something that I, since I've experienced it, I have, I am passionate about talking about, I think more and more because I want people to know that it might not be you like you know you think everyone thinks oh it's me i have all these like issues and and i need to do the shadow and i need to do you know go to the you need to go to therapy so i'm not saying don't go to therapy by any means but like you do all of those things and it's it's still not working it might not be you it might be a walk in and we and now that the world is changing and more people are becoming spiritual and more people are getting in touch with that side of them there's actually more chances that we have more attacks and stuff like that. And so I just want people to know, like, it might not be you, you, you could, you could look at it this way and, and see if that works for you also, you know what I mean? Besides doing all the shadow work and all, all of the other stuff. Cause yeah. I think that all of it works. I think that all of it's great. Um, all of it got me to where I am right now. You know what I mm -hmm. mean? Which is, is, I could never imagine that I could sit here and talk about having multiple personalities and all the trauma that I went through um, and be alive. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I really, yeah. there were times where I was low enough, you know? So the fact that I'm here and I'm talking about it all, I think it's, it, it, the, all that other work got me here, but I know that talking about this in a different way is going to totally heal me. Yeah. For some reason, that's just what I know inside of myself. So, yes. And hopefully in turn, that will help others to heal as well. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's um, really, what, that's, that's the goal is to say it so that someone else can be triggered enough to go, oh my gosh, this is me and then heal it because the more of us that heal this, it's just better for all of us. Yeah. I remember over the first um, podcast that you and I did together, one of the things that we talked about was, if I'm remembering right, was that you said something about um, you didn't know why you had to be the one to come forward and do all this stuff when your family was very against all of this. And and the first thing that came to me was because you're the one that's strong enough to do it. And you're going to make a big difference with a lot of people's lives by doing that. And so I, I still believe that. And it's just... Um, I, I just applaud you because it is very um, uh, uncomfortable and very raw a lot of times to open yourself up because, you know, not everybody is going to believe, not everybody's going to be sympathetic, not everybody's going to be kind. And, yeah. you know, and that's just the nature of things. People um, sometimes um, really press against things that they don't understand understand or that scare them and yeah. sometimes things like this do so i'm just hoping that everybody will take it with the the um the spirit in which it is um intended and know that we're not trying to press any idea on anybody it's just this is for um, for you to heal and for others to heal. So anybody, like you said, anybody that needs to hear it will hear it. Yeah. 
I, I'm a I'm I'm a big believer in that. Whoever it's meant to to touch, it, it will definitely touch, which is why I'm doing it. Otherwise, there's really no reason. Like I've come to a lot of terms with everything that's happened to me, and I'm fine with you know not telling everyone that I have multiple personalities. You know, like I don't need to, but I do in my heart know that there are people out there that need to hear it for some for some reason. You know, for their story, and so I'm gonna say it you know, and, and I hope that it doesn't offend people and, or hurt, you know, people. It's not intended that way. It's, it's really just intended to, to tell my truth so that other people can maybe see if it's something that is part of their truth, you know. And if nothing else, if, even if that's not their truth, if that uh, gives them the opportunity and allows them to speak whatever their truth is, that's, that too. you know, yeah. because don't be afraid. Yes. don't be afraid. Like, it, yeah, you know, you, it might sound crazy, whatever your story is, it might sound crazy and people might not believe you, but still say it because yeah. saying it, it gives you so much power yeah. and it, it really does take away their power. And it's like, they, they can't hold me to their story anymore. You know, it's my story and, and I'm going to own what, you know, every part of it, even the bad part, I'm going to own it, but it's my story. They don't have any power in it anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, so I love you so much. Yes. Thank you. Thank you for being here and, um, and, and sharing in this way. And like I said before, everybody that can share this, you know, um, tell your friends, you know, send it out to anybody, um, that, you know, that might enjoy listening to the podcast. Um, we're going to have the links uh, to the podcast and everything that we're going to be sending this out in as well. And um, so help us to get the word out. Yeah, thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you.